Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 22nd of June 2025. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your weekend as much as you possibly can. We'll be playing the third game of the day, which is the Los Angeles Times Expert Level Sudoku Puzzle in just a mo. I'm getting the games out nice and early today. Uh, what's going on in the news? Um, the alleged shooter of uh, two Minnesotan, four, four Minnesotan, but murderer of two and sh shooting two other um, Minnesotan politicians last week, uh, Vince uh, Vance, sorry, Vance Belter, I think his name is. Um, uh, the more information that comes out against this guy, the more you realize he was totally insane. Uh, he was one of those preppers, those people that, you know, fear the end of the world coming. And apparently, according to the Daily Beast, um, sent a message to his wife telling her, prepare for war. And that they're coming with guns and stuff like this uh, before he went on his um, killing spree. Uh, of course, Mag, I think he's um, uh, somehow a left wing person, even though he voted for Trump and is a mega nut job and is a conspiracy theorist and all of that kind of stuff uh, proving that he is clearly a right-wing lunatic um, but, uh, but but maybe we're wrong on this because apparently that he has claimed to the FBI that Tim Walsh, do you remember him? the uh, do you, the running mate of, of Kamala Harris that we <laughs> didn't hear about too much about um, previously heard a quite a, bit, a lot about during the election campaign and, and uh, he's trailed off but mind you not as much as Kamala Harris she's disappeared completely since the election but anyway uh, yeah him do you remember him uh, uh, Tim Waltz he uh, apparently is the one that told him told Vance Belter to go and uh, murder these go and murder Amy Klobuchar <laughs> well-known <laughs> Senator Amy Klobuchar so that he could run for office Tim Waltz could run for office <laughs> yeah right like we believe that um, the insanity of this man and, and I, I heard about his history you know like the nonsense on his LinkedIn um, profile and things like that about him running businesses in the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, it's just it's just such nonsense everywhere I mean the man is just clearly insane but unfortunately there are plenty of these insane people around in the US the preppers and you know other people in conspiracy theorists who who are just they they need to they need some attention medical you know psychological attention is needed for these people really. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku now. If, like me, the first thing that you probably notice before doing anything else are the fact that nine and one are such good friends, such good buddies. They go hand in hand here in the top two rows because you can't really avoid it. If you've been watching this channel for a while, I think that's the first thing that's bound to hit you. So we do know that nine and one have to be in those squares there because they can't go anywhere else. But uh, we'll ignore that for a moment because I can see nines blocking down here and up here. We'll definitely put a nine into that square there. And I also happen to notice that the one uh, which blocks down here, a one blocks both of those squares there is going to give us a one there. And the three blocking that square is going to give us a three there. And then we'll come back to putting the six, I think, in that square. And now we'll start thinking about this nine and one, because I just noticed those very easy things, first of all. Oh, there's another one, three blocking up there. Let's do that. I'll get back in a second. No, I won't, because we've got three blocking across here, three down here, three across there and across there. But look, three must be in one of those empty squares blocking down. And there's a three three up here it's just there's just so much good stuff going on here right <laughs> threes across what did what game did i say this is la times expert level puzzle let me just check i've got that yep okay and of course we know that this is nine and one so when we see the six blocking up here we can say that six has to be in those squares got a pair of sixes down here six is there Six is there. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was nine and one. So the other numbers are two, six, and eight. Uh, the two and the eight, no clues about just yet, I think. Uh, now we should come back and look at these squares across here since we know that this is a nine one pair. We're looking for two, 
five sevens are obviously over here and eight two five seven eight two seven here so this is a five eight ah and we see seven has to fit in one of these two squares so this can't be a seven so that's the only possibility for a seven and then we'll be left with two five and eight in those squares there uh, so we just know that the twos are there but we don't know much more than that now what's going on up here two also two five and two five two four five eight sorry uh, four Right, the missing numbers here are one, four, seven, the old snooker break. So four blocks up here, that will give me the four in that square. We've got four across here, across there, and four up there. Uh, I've got to do this nine down here, nine across there. There's a nine. And we know this is two, five, and eight, don't we? So that's a six. And we've got six blocking this square, six blocking this square, so that's a six. Left with five, eight pair there. Excuse me. Uh, six blocking up here and across here put six into one of those squares blocking back in that direction there is our six so six down here across here across there
three down here and across there. There's a three. Three across here, across there, and up here. Three is our first completed digit. Uh, we've got nine blocking across here and across here and nine blocking across here and there. So what does it mean? It means that nines are in those squares and so we can only look for nine in one of these two squares up here in the middle and we've got a nine blocking there. There is our nine and we remember our nine one pair. Do you remember? We found at the beginning. So there's the one. Like so. That's also going to put ones into those squares because we will now have no we won't, we'll have one blocking down here or one across here one is in one of those squares there blocking across and the one down here means that's a one oh, but we will have ones up there Hmm, a tricky ending, I feel. Twos, eights, and 
also fives a bit twos and eights are our problem child here I think well we've got a pair of two and nine here now across there and two and nine across there so we can say that that's a pair of two and nine uh, we already know that ones are in those squares there uh, what else do we know anything about four fours are there ah one four five okay this is two and nine and we've got one four five up here so those squares are one four and five here one four five two nine there what's the other number one four five two nine eight is the other number eight across this way eight across there will give me an eight in that square And we know that fives are in those squares now. Ah, oh. okay. So we've got five up here, and we know that this is two and nine. So there's our five, and we've got a one and four left here. Uh, a one and four. Yeah, that's right there. Actually, I, somehow I thought that was two and four, but <laughs> I made a mistake there. I didn't say that. I don't. I don't think I said that. But anyway, that's one and four. This is one and four. This definitely can't be one or four. So what can it be? Seven. We've only got one, four, seven missing here, right? So that's got to be a seven because it can't be a one or four because of our unique rectangle rule. So this is now five and seven. Five and seven across there. There's five and seven. This has to be a one. And then this is two and nine. So here's our one across here. Here's our one. There's our four. And there's our four there. And here's our one. Uh, we have not finished digit one yet why not okay I see it one across there one down here one down there now we've finished digit one and I think we'll just go through the numbers and see where it leads us Well, it'll certainly lead us to four across, across, and down, and down, and the final digit four there. Six across here, across there, down here. There's a six, six up here, up there. There's a six, that's the last six. 8 blocking up here puts 8 into that square. Finally, we get some resolution on our two eights. 2 there, 2 there, and 2 down here. There's a 2, there's a 9, and 9 down here, 9 across there. There's a 9. Okay, missing digit here is 7, and this is an 8. Eight across here, eight down there, there's the eight. Eight across here and there. If I can only hold down the right key, I'll get my eight in there. We've got two blocking across here. Here's the two, there's the five. Five needed in this row in that location. Two and five block up here, there's the two and the five. Two blocking across there, there's the two, there's the five. And the last number to go here is uh, something. Eight. Eight across there and there. There goes an eight. The last number to place here looks to be a two. And this looks to be a five, I think. Okay, and five blocking down here will give me five in this square. Here's a seven. Seven blocking across there. There's a seven. And we just need a two to finish the game. So uh, that's our Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle over for Sunday. And uh, I'm off swimming and uh, shopping and uh, stuff like that. Take care. Bye-bye.